back to my yard. Today we're going to be harvesting some beautiful cut flowers and we actually are going to be taking them to a memory care facility here in town and donating them to beautify the space for those residents. I'm super excited to do this project. I hope you'll come along with me. flowers. I got these both at Michael's. Um, they were both on sale. So there's this one here, which is a really pretty like distressed urn. And then I really liked this, um, the boho vibe of this one. And I liked how it has a nice wide mouth. So first things first, I am going to make myself a couple of bouquets just to have around my home. The one I made last week is really fading. And then I've got, um, these 18, uh, I'm sorry, 12 mason jars. And they are the kind of the small ones. I did purchase these, they weren't that expensive. And what I'm gonna ask the memory care facility to do is just save these for me once the flowers have faded and I will come pick them up and hopefully this can be something I can continue to do ongoing. So I'm feeling good about that. Every vase has a little bit of my floral food in it. It's the Floral Life Crystal Clear. So I did put a little bit of that in everything. And I am just gonna get to arranging. So when I'm thinking about my flowers, I wanna be sure I have a focal flower, some filler flowers, and then some foliage flowers. So that's gonna be my goal. Um, I'm hoping each one will turn out unique and different and that it will bring a lot of joy and um, peace to the residents of the memory care facility, at, which is a place that's really close to my heart. Um, I also have my Lazy Susan here, which makes life really easy so that I can um, go ahead and, you know, arrange and, and have that motion and have that freedom. And of course, I've got my trusty clippers. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this project and I can't wait for you to see how it turns out. Here we go.
it's um it's taking a little bit of time but i'm loving it just feeling the flowers smelling them knowing that i grew them myself like knowing that they're going to brighten someone's day it just brings me a lot of joy so thank you for watching this all right friends i want to talk a little bit about what i'm learning along the way here um, what I'm learning is that it's really nice to have some of the, the filler flowers. So for me, that would be the fever flu, fever few, which is kind of more bushy and, um, the, uh, cosmos, which in my garden bed, I feel like both of those are taking up way too much space, but here now that I'm arranging, I kind of need those flowers to fill in space for the focal flowers. I'm also um, really liking having this, I'm gonna move this for a second, having, you know, doing it here on my counter because I've got this like pile of greens, but I can continue to use those as I need them. And now I think I'm at the point where I need to kind of pull these apart a little bit, or at least kind of check them all um, to make sure that they're looking full on their own before, because right now they're kind of all smooshed together. I'm also learning that I have an earwig issue. <laughs> There's quite a few earwigs coming out of these flowers, which, you know what, poor earwigs. It was their flower bed before I got there. Um, anyway, so I am going to kind of separate these out and just take a look at each one individually. I think doing it this far in the box was a really good idea because I could just kind of go quickly. But now I want to really make sure that each one um, has a focal flower and enough filler flowers. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to let these hang out in a cool, dark place overnight, um, probably in the back of my kitchen, um, in the air conditioning and do what's called conditioning. So that way tomorrow morning, if anything's looking really droopy or it just like isn't, didn't you know do well, I can take those out and I can go cut something fresh and replace it. Because if I'm gonna take them into a facility, I want it or you know, a, a, a business, a place, I want them to look fresh and nice. So um, that's my plan here. So I think I'm going to start with that. That's about half. And then I'm just going to, you know, again, just kind of separate these out and try to look at one, each one individually while I still have a little bit of this filler flower left and kind of fill them up. I am done. So let me try to explain what I did. Um, so for each bouquet, what I tried to do is have like, let me see if I can scoot this over, like a focal flower, a secondary flower, and then a lot of filler flowers. So focal flower, secondary flower, and lots of uh, filler flowers, right? So um, let me show you a couple more examples here. So here's one. This one I, I was able to do a, a trio. This is one of my zinnias. I've got the cosmos, the Shasta daisies, and then the fever few. Um, here's another one of my zinnias that's finally popping. So things like this, this should open up tomorrow, but if it doesn't, that's why I'm doing this a little early so that I can go back through and, you know, make sure everything's looking great um, so that I can take these in tomorrow and make any adjustments that I need to. Let me pull out another one of my favorites. Look at this guy. He's kind of, he's kind of um, asymmetrical, but I'm here for it. <laughs> anyway, um, so here's another one because there was a few that grew a little crooked, <laughs> some of my snapdragons. Anyway, I'm very much pleased with how they came out. And I hope that you guys like checking out this video today. Um, I will keep you updated on how the delivery went. And thanks so much for hanging out with me in my yard today. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and share it with a friend. I hope this motivates you to do something um, for your friends and neighbors, something for your community, um, to spread a little joy to other people. So have a good day, you guys. Go out and get in your yard. It's a really fun place to be. See you next time.